Hey Horde, I figured I would do a quick video on a new feature I pushed to Square this afternoon. It's called Flight School and allows us to easily create, maintain and give classes about EVE. I'll be going over the features in this video. So first we're going to go over the features from the perspective of the teacher. I'm currently logged in as a teacher and I have nothing to do tonight. So I might as well run a class for the new players in Horde. I'm going to go to Flight School and All Classes, which provides a handy overview of all the classes I have access to teach. I will go to Start Class to start the class, which will give me a warning that this will create a session, ping Discord, and not to abuse it. Click OK, then I fill in the Mumble channel, which will let people know where the audio will be at. For the moment, Square will take care of the visual part of the presentation, where Mumble will take care of the audio. So the next step is for Horde members to join the class. I'm currently logged in uh, from the perspective of a normal member. Um, I saw the ping on Discord or the ping on IRC or know from the forums or in-game that a class is running. Go to Flight School and Active Classes or I get linked to the class. I press Join. I can see who's, who's giving the class, what the status is and what current slide they're on. No matter how far along the class is, people can always join. I'm currently joined, and as you can see, the, cl the class status is starting soon. So we're back on the teacher's perspective, and we see that a new participant has joined. This updates in real time, which is quite handy to see how many people are currently watching your class. And... Um, I've given people enough time to join, it's time to start the class. I will use this button to start the class, which make the status disappear, and now we are ready to get started. I can now navigate through um, each slide, and all the particip participants will see the same slide in real time. So from the perspective of a Horde member, I can go back to the previous slide at any time, in case I miss something. And to get back to the teacher's perspective, I can either press sync or click on the little thumbnail over here, which will bring me back to the teacher's slide. Every time the teacher goes to a next slide, my view will be synced with theirs. If at any time I have a question, I can type it here and ask the question. You will get feedback that the question is submitted. If you click this little thing, it will go away. And um, the question has been asked. So let's hop over to the teacher perspective and see what happens. On the perspective of the teacher, we will now be able to see that a new question gets asked. And we have two options. We can dismiss it if we will either cover it later. The question is a duplicate. Or the question is nonsense. Or we can show it to the entire class to start covering the question. Let's, let's do that right now. As you will see, we will get a nice pop-up window with the question, and we can now go over the question. During this time, you can still choose to go to other slides if you want to show something. If you've completed the question, the teacher can hit complete question to hide it for the entire class, and you can continue as normal. As a part participant of the class, you most likely don't care about many of the controls or the questions when you uh, just want to listen in. So when you hit the full screen window, every, everything will become full screen, the questions will still be shown, and all the other features will still be available as well. So this is probably the most convenient way for most uh, members to uh, follow the class. If you use your uh, left mouse button and your right mouse button, you can still go back and forward to a slide to, to skip ahead or skip back on the teacher. As a teacher, you have access to a few advanced features, which you can find under this menu. You can show the entire class a YouTube video, which is useful if you want to show something in um, a little bit more FPS than a GIF or a presentation allows for. A Twitch stream or a Hitbox stream, in case you want to show something in real time. Um, I highly suggest you use Hitbox, because Hitbox has a shorter delay than Twitch. If you want to clear any content that uh, you no longer have access to, for example, you refresh the page, page as a teacher during a question or a YouTube or a Twitch stream, if you use this option, it will clear everything from all the participants. 
So as an example, let's show the class a YouTube video right now. I'm not going to go over the other features, but they work pretty much the same way. When you click on the option, you get a pop-up menu, which asks you to either put in the channel name, or in, in the case of YouTube, you put in the ID, and then you press OK. If we want to send the class back to the slide, we just use the button on the top right and everything's back to normal and we, we can continue where we were. So that pretty much covers almost everything that you need to know to either participate or g be able to give a class. I'm just going to click through the entire class right now. So I can show you guys the final bit. When the teacher has come to the last slide, in the preview window he will see that it's the end of class and he has an option to hit finish class. When he hits finish class, all the participants will be sent back to the all, all classes menu and that's pretty much the end of the class. Last but not least, we have a few more things to cover. First of all, how do you make these classes and how do you become part of the Float School? Well, to be able to give classes, um, basically you approach me Kobuski Rade to uh, get the teacher role on Square, which is uh, doesn't really have any requirements other than that you are willing and able to give classes. And from there you can get going by using the store class f uh, functions. The other thing we need to cover is how do we make these classes? Well, that's pretty simple actually. If you use this template, you will see that you are redirected to a Google Slide template that we created for Horde. To use this template, the very first thing you need to do is make a copy. So you go to File, and then make a copy, and then you give the name of your class, Calbury's Test Class, and we hit OK. Now we have a class that we can edit. For starters, it's really important that you read all the white boxes over here, because they will make your life a lot easier when making uh, slides. And that you use as many of the default um, slide templates available to you. For example, for title, you would use this. You would just type the name here, your name here, and then uh, a subtitle. And then we can add some content slides and stuff like that. After you read the white text, it should be pretty easy. If you um, are done with your class, you create a share URL by clicking this button and then this button. And you send this URL to me. Once I have this URL, I can easily get your presentation on Square and you can get going with your teachings. My hope is that with uh, an easier way to uh, share your presentation in real time with uh, the members of Horde and a pretty easy way to create Google Slides and import them into Square, to create your presentations, that we can really get a lot more classes going in uh, in Horde. What we've seen in the past is uh, every time we put focus on classes, we get one week where the class coverage is amazing, and then the next week it drops off a little, and the next week it drops off a little. So what we would like to see instead is a consistent coverage for many, many months. With more and more classes being added, and it being easier and easier for people to run repeat classes, we will hopefully achieve that through this system. Additionally, it's an aim to get YouTube uh, videos of all the classes at least once, and have mirrors up on the website. So even if classes are not being run, people can still easily find them. If we look ahead a little bit for other features, I'm mostly ha holding off on them until I know that the system is going to be used a lot and that they will be worth the uh, extra effort. But you can think about features like tipping your teacher gabloons if, um, if the class has been useful, questions during or after a class to see if you've understood the class correctly, and even a whiteboard feature to 
draw something for the entire class, which can be quite useful when going off to, over specific scenarios or how drag bubbles work or stuff like that. The sky is pretty much the limit, but we do need to know that it's being used a lot before we start to delve into the more interesting stuff. Anyway, I hope this is useful. I hope to see a lot of classes and yeah, let's see how it goes.